Thank you. Thank you. Thank two. Happy <laughs> with us. I'm Jason. I'm Mike. So welcome back. We have something special today from Pottsville, Pennsylvania. It's Lord Chesterfield Ale. This is 5.4% alcohol by volume in a 12 ounce bottle, full size American bottle. Um, they make it easier for you to get the beard in your mouth by making the cap a twist off. So thank you, Yingling. Um, <laughs> if you didn't watch our Yingling Lager beer video, that's a 10 out of 10. So I have high hopes for this. We both grew up drinking that beer through college, so. Yeah, so Yingling Lager, can't get better than that. Um, hopefully Lord Chesterfield is uh, you know gonna surprise us here. Does this right. Well, whatever. So I guess you need this after your long day at uh, school now, right? Uh, a very long day. How long did you? How long were you in school for today? Whatever eight to five fifteen is, and then a forty minute lunch, and all of it was just sitting in a chair listening to lecture. So I'm looking forward to this. Oh, top it off. <laughs> I need it. You need it more than I do today, buddy. All right, Lord Chesterfield. Smells like really strong beer. Like when you think wow. of beer, wow. When you think of beer, this is like beer. This is like. You almost get a little like, bit of a hoppy smell. Nope. No. I get nope. the hoppy smell. Nope. No hoppy smell. All right. Don't let well, fool you. I'm wrong. Apparently. After we just got done discussing how I'm supposed to always be right. Oh, good. Thick, with two C's. Thick. Yeah. Got a thick flavor. It's not thick and. Mm -mm. It's not thick viscosity wise, but it's thick in flavor. It is juicy, like a lot of barley. Wow, how do you go from thick to juicy? Thick and juicy, lots of barley. It's good. <laughs> I like it. Eight point seven. Wow, that was a really quick judgment call. I know what I like. Yeah. Yeah. Do you continue to order this at a bar? Oh, yeah. I am not as big as a fan as he is, but I would order it again on a bar. I think this is actually Yingling's highest alcohol beer. Really? Yes. At 5.4? Isn't the, uh, the lager like 5? Mm -mm. I don't think so. What's I don't the, remember. Isn't the stout more than that? The porter? No. Yeah. I don't believe so. All right. I well, drank six pints of porter before, and I was still able to walk, so it can't be that much. Um, but I think six of these wouldn't make me feel so great. I think six of any beer at this point in time wouldn't make us feel so great. Oh, this is good. I like this one. I'm going to give it a six and a half. I don't like it, but I don't, well, I don't love it, but I don't hate it sort of thing. But I would order it again in a bar, especially because it is Yingling and we kind of love Yingling here. It's a Yingling beer. If you like Yingling, go to the store and get it. They have it at any beer store. It's like a staple for all the stores in Pennsylvania. Um, Where'd you get it? I got this from Wegmans. Oh, yes. Back to Crafty Packs? No. I got a six pack of Chesterfield Ale because I wanted it. Wow, school must be really tough. It was tough. Yeah. But it's good. Uh, came from Wegmans. So if you have a Wegmans in your neighborhood, go. If you don't and you have a Giant or a Weiss or something, they have it there too. They have it at beer distributors. They have it everywhere. Singling. Made in Pennsylvania. Foxville. Well, as long as you're in Pennsylvania. However, they did just join with. What did I say? Molson Coors, Coors to get their beer across this, uh, the United States now, so they should be able yeah. to ship this stuff anywhere for you guys. But Sam Adams is probably going to still be a little asshole and not let Yingling up in Boston. Just because wow, Yingling, would, would, fired. Yeah, Yingling would outsell Sam Adams, yeah. and that's why they don't want him up there. Is that how you really feel? Money. Yeah, that's the reason. I do like Yingling better than Sam Adams. Yeah, Sam Adams is too expensive, and you really don't get much for it. I guess he does not like Sam Adams. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like buying a Ferrari with a Toyota engine in it. It's like, all right, you paid a lot of money, but really, it's not good. <laughs> I drive a '98 Corolla though, and uh, 240,000 miles later, still doing just fine. Doesn't have a Ferrari motor in it either. Doesn't need one. It goes fast <laughs> enough already. Burns oil like a some bitch too. Just keep putting it in. If you need car advice, ask us. I'll give you the blunt answer. If it's burning oil, <laughs> fucking put more in. We'll have to cut that out. <laughs> nah, we won't. No, I'll just put not for kids in the not YouTube video. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so just keep putting oil in if your car's burning oil. That's what I do, and I'm doing just fine. All right, cool, thanks. Lord Chesterfield Ale, it's good. If you want some, go get it. If you don't, well, then you don't like beer. 
<laughs> Cheers. Have a beer with us.